Hey there, uh, today I'm in uh, Las Palmas in Gran Canaria. Um, I'm down at Las Canteras Beach, which is uh, the city beach here, one of the city beaches here, and uh, I think you'll find it gorgeous. It's the 28th of December, so the weather is spectacular. If you're looking for comparisons, this is a street which looks really run down and I don't understand why because if you were close to the beach like this, you would want to put it a little bit more upmarket. But you can ask anything you want for a nice apartment here. So this is the street, I was just here where my finger is now and this is how close we are. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful here in Las Canteras. That's it, time to leave Las Canteras, continue my walk to Santa Catalina Park. Beautiful, beautiful. So here I am, Santa Catalina Park. Um, from my apartment you can see this bad boy, which is the AC Hotel, the tallest hotel, with a rooftop um, swimming pool no less. Since the outbreak of the pandemic it's been closed, so no guests stay in there at the moment. And this is the first time I've been down to Santa Catalina since the uh, pandemic hit. and. There's a lot of major cafe restaurants that are shut, which is a pity. It looks like this one behind me is uh, open, never been there. And this restaurant here, which I have been to, which is very nice. Um, I don't know whether it's just a bit early for them, but it's one o'clock-ish, so they should be open really. So it's very funny because uh, in this restaurant here, they have this train engine. But there's no train tracks in Gran Canaria. There's no trains at all. Um, it's a museum piece, it's beautiful. And um, you used to be able to get in the cab, I believe, but now you're not, it's all chained off. But this is a very nice restaurant. They have a large area inside and a large area outside. And I'm not altogether sure what this place is behind me. But here above the restaurant and behind and beyond is a museum so very nice let's continue on our way Here we are, we're down in Santa Catalina Park. We've walked uh, about two minutes from the big park, which I've shown you just now, where the bus station is and everything. Behind is La Moye Shopping Center. And behind me, we have three cruise ships. And from my house, they look big. But here, they look ginormous. What an impressive sight. Um, I'm very impressed with the harbour master who has to park these because we've got one, two, and one on the other side, three. Um, a great place, normally when they park, um, you end up with hundreds of people disembarking, getting on the red buses, taxis, taking the buses, the normal buses, going to the shopping center. Um, there's a lot of activity around the port. They came in, the day before yesterday so they've been here for a few days and uh, we've got people coming and going but not in huge numbers 
We just had a load go out on um, uh, patinettes, scooters, electric scooters, and another load come back in on bicycles, which I guess they rent um, locally. So, what a beautiful sight. I have to tell you, I went fishing once on um, a friend's little boat and I was as sick as a pig. Um, I've been on boats before, but I've never been sick like that. It, it was ridiculous. Uh, and it took me a few days to, to get my land legs back. But I think I would risk it for a holiday on one boat. So right opposite these beautiful ships, we come round to Copa. This is my favorite club. I'm not much of a clubber now, I'm 56, anything for an early, uh, early night. But big open air club, and it's, it doesn't do it any justice really, this time of day, but on a night when it's all lit up and lots of fancy dressed uh, patrons, it is a very, very nice night. And they stay open until four or five o'clock in the morning. I do like it there. I do. I suffer for the next three days, but it's worth it. So this is what the copa looks like inside. Lots of palm trees. Covered areas. This is one side. You have a bridge running over the top. Comfy seating that can be reserved. This big circular thing here is a bar underneath. And the disco is up there. Very nice indeedy. Santa Catalina Park. This place is normally bustling. Any time of the day, any day of the week. There's a few people around. Some of the restaurants and cafes are closed. Who lack of business, I'm guessing. Um, yeah. There's still plenty to do. Me, I'm off to meet the wife. So I'm deciding whether to walk or take a bus. It's about a mile down the road, but my feet are hurting. Um, I should be early enough. Now I'm here in the main shopping street of the city, Jose Messe Lopez. This has recently been pedestrianised, and I must say it's looking pretty good. Um, businesses are starting to open up again, there's a few cafes um, um, dotting up all over the place. And this leads you to El Corte Inglés, the biggest shop in the city, probably on the island. You can buy everything here from chewing gum to a car. They have everything for you. Um, so this road was closed for quite a while. It used to be a major um, through road here. And it's closed down and now it's just beautiful. Last year I posted a video and they had a band doing the Beatles uh, on there and uh, it got took down because they were so good. They thought it was actual, the actual Beatles performing. So uh, no such thing this year because of the pandemic. Hey Benner, what a pity. My favorite way to end any uh, hike 
Cheers, one and all. Oh, I deserve that.